Hello there my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way through the Ilix Forest and we tried to stop Celebi from giving Regina the Aurora Orb. That didn't work out in our favor. In today's episode we're gonna head inside of Asalia Town's gym, take on its leader Bugsy. I'm excited for this one. The Walking Bug Pokemon Encyclopedia. Now we haven't seen Bugsy in a while but this will be a fun time. Who is this? Well, Will, look who we have here. Rodri, isn't it? Okay, so it's Ernest. Now, if you guys remember, he was the Southerly City Gym Leader. So we have obtained a badge from him before. So it's pretty cool getting to see him again. I'm going to be in Johto for a while. This is Grand New Dojo in Sidewood City I want to check out. Why don't you stop by? We can have a battle just for fun. I hope I'll be seeing you there soon. So with that, we just got an invite to a new dojo in Sidewood City. And if we can rematch gym leaders there, I think that would be really, really cool to check out. With that though, guys, we have made it inside of the gym. Isn't the gym creepy? The leader here, Bugsy, trains the bug type. I have a feeling we'll be needing advice for this one. Yeah, I don't think we'll be needing advice either. We do have Zuko Jr. ready to go, and I feel very good about this gym. It's a bug type gym, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to handle. Let's go ahead and take on the first trainer, and we'll see what kind of Pokemon they have. Once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. And let's go ahead and see what she's got coming out as a ninjask. And as you can see... The Pokemon are actually around level 58 to I believe about 63 will be the range in this gym. So we should be okay considering Zuko Jr. has a very, very huge super effectiveness advantage against these Pokemon. So we should be able to crush this gym quite easily. And then even if we don't, we still have RSP. He can usually step up. Yami's good to go. And then Chompy is always one of our aces. Chompy's always ready to come out whenever is needed. So I think we'll be okay. Thank you guys for all your responses, by the way. It's really awesome when you guys share with me your different experiences whenever you guys tell me a little bit about your lives. I think that's what's really, really fun about getting to share my own stories with you is getting to hear back your guys' stories because I love that type of thing. I love listening to stories and kind of just, you know, keeping them in my memory. I'm the type of person that wants to have a lot of stories built up. So by the time I'm older, I'm able to tell my kids or my grandkids just a bunch of different stories from my childhood or growing up or my experiences. So it's always awesome when I get to hear other people's experiences because those are little stories or, you know, little adventures that I can also tell them about. About some friends that they told me this or about, you know, some people that told me that. And I think it's always cool to learn more from others so you can share it. So with that, go, let's keep on going through this gym. We're actually doing really, really good so far. I think this will be a very easy one. So we'll have to figure out what else there is to do after. I still have to figure out what exactly Whitney was telling us about going back to the gym. I suppose we still have to find her gym so that's gonna be a matter of searching considering johto has been so strange i didn't even expect us to end up here in bugsy's gym so it's kind of something that just sort of happened it's just something that we got thrown into and that seems to be how it's going these days we don't expect a gym to come up and then it randomly just gets thrown at us i did not know that coming out of alix forest we would be making our way through this gym today i feel like our gyms are a little bit out of order too i don't know if that's how the game's supposed to be but we've been doing really good regardless of that. At least the Pokemon haven't been a crazy high level yet. They haven't come out at like level 66, 67, 68 and upwards. If we bumped into a gym like that randomly right now, we would probably be having a very, very difficult time. We're pretty lucky that these gyms so far, the Pokemon have been on average around that 58, 59, 60 mark. And that makes it a lot easier on us. Now, another thing is today is my last day in El Salvador, and I've been thinking a lot about the past month I spent here, and I gotta tell you guys, it was really great getting to spend time with my family, and I got to do a whole lot of what I wanted, and I gotta tell you guys, make the most of your time, because you never know when something will come up, when you'll have to head back home from vacation, or those sorts of things, or when something will happen. It's better to just be prepared and better to be making the most of your time when you can and that's what I feel I had the chance to do here I try to spend as much time as I could with my family it's always nice seeing my grandma and my cousin Jerry who's here from Germany he's actually heading back to Germany tomorrow too or so we're both kind of just spending the whole day here just kind of hanging out and getting ready for our trips back home which is kind of strange you know he lives in Germany I'm back home in Chicago it feels like my family slowly is getting spread all over the world which is also cool because it gives me a chance to hopefully get to fly there someday and explore around but another thing that I was thinking about is one of my experiences that I always had as a kid growing up and it's a really big nostalgic thought for me it's something that always hits at home for me one of those really warm thoughts is that you know I used to come here a lot as a kid when I was eight nine ten 
My summers were usually spent here in El Salvador, and my cousin lived here back then, so we'd always spend the summers together, and we'd get to play a lot of games together, and that's how I got into some of the games that I love now. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, those types of games were games that I played during the summer while I was here, and I learned about these games little by little. Now, before I continue on with that story, we're actually gonna go ahead and prepare to take on Bugsy, though. I do feel like we're ready for this, since we've been crushing everybody, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Another challenger? I'll never get work done. My name's Bugsy, and I'm the ultimate expert on bug Pokemon. Did you know, for instance, the only three Pokemon have bug as their secondary type? Does it scare you going up against my vast knowledge? Let us begin our battle and see what unfolds from it. All right, guys, here we go. Rodri versus Bugsy, the bug type gym leader. I guess you guys got that one. That was a pretty obvious one. He's going to send out Fortress, and I'm going to continue off my story because I feel like we'll be able to sweep this gym. As I was saying, me and my cousin used to play a lot of games here when we were kids, growing up, spending the summers here together, and it's something that really hasn't changed too much. I came here this summer, and we started playing games again. We started playing Madden. That's a game that we always played. We played FIFA, and you know, once in a while, we have to pick out a game that we can play through in co-op and the game we've been playing re recently is Resident Evil 6 which I gotta tell you guys it was rated not that good but I think depending on who you play it with it makes it fun so my cousin and me we have a really good time playing through that game we just mess around shoot a bunch of zombies and it's always a lot of fun so I think you just got to make the most out of it and that's what's really fun that's why I always enjoy getting to share these types of experiences with you guys because I think you got to make the most of it I really do think you got to enjoy your time when you can and that's what it's all about so although we were playing through Resident Evil 6 which is apparently considered a crappy game I had a lot of fun with it we were still playing through it quite a bit and I gotta tell you guys it's a good time it really brings a lot of nostalgic feelings for me when I was a kid and playing through those games with my cousin as kids and now that we're older that we don't get to see each other as much we still get to experience those type of things so I think it's really cool that you can still as you get older experience some of that we always have the chance to look out our windows and see the park that we went to as kids and it's always just so great getting to reminisce on all the good times but you also got to look towards the future and know that there are also a lot of good times coming up I think that's one of the things that I always have a little bit of trouble with is that I always look back at the past and have a harder time of looking at the future so that's something that I definitely want to work on and just try to become better at you know because there's a lot of good in the future too although there are a lot of fun experiences in the past there's still a lot of good in the future and I think that's always something to keep in mind things always get better you know things always improve you might go through a little bit of a rough time but you're always gonna push through it you just got to keep your chins up and keep on going because life does get better and things always do improve that's really how it is that's what it's all about you know another cool thing though that I noticed while I was here in El Salvador I've said this a lot throughout Pokemon Glaze because I've been playing it here so what I've noticed is that although things change the more things change the more they stay the same and that is so true Yesterday, I was sitting there with my grandma. We were just watching TV, just talking, you know, just hanging out. And I was just flipping through the TV. And I saw Dragon Ball Z on. Now, it wasn't the original Dragon Ball Z. It was Dragon Ball Z Kai. But it was on at like 9 p.m. And I told my grandma, I was like... Grandma, you know what's funny? Is that when I was a kid and we used to watch TV together, when I used to live here before I moved, this was the exact show that was on at 9 p.m. was Dragon Ball Z. So it's funny that now that I'm older tons of years have passed they're still showing the exact same thing on tv at nine and it was funny because i joked around with my grandma and i told her i was like this is the show that i used to put on when you guys were trying to watch your soap operas and i would stop you and throw on my cartoons and that's what i did i would just throw on dragon ball z and she had a good laugh out of that and she just told me how much of a pesky little kid i was because i wouldn't let them watch tv because i really wanted to watch dragon ball z Another cool thing about that is that that's how I got into Pokemon as well. It was after Dragon Ball Z. They would usually show about two episodes. And then around 10 p.m., they would put on Pokemon. And that's when I first saw it. That's when I was watching my Dragon Ball Z. Super into it. Loved it. And then the show ended and I saw Pokemon coming onto the channel. And I was like, what is this? And that's what started it all. You might was more than match for my smarts but can you name the three pokemon i was referring to earlier i gotta tell you bugsy i can't name the three pokemon off the top of my head with that guys we obtained the hive badge 
This would be our fourth, but it's our third out of eight badges here in the Johto region. Five more to go. Come on, take it. We obtained TM36 as well. So let's go ahead and see what this TM is going to be. Sludge Bomb. Okay, that's definitely a really good move. So we'll have to teach that to one of our Pokemon. What do I do now? Perhaps I'll take a stroll through the forest. It can't be good for me being stuffed in my gym all the time. Take care, Rodri. I was always told that knowledge was power, but I don't know if that's true anymore. Sometimes you just need to live life to the fullest, right? And see, Bugsy gets me. Sometimes, guys, you just have to live your life to the fullest and make the most of your time. Just go out there. Have some fun. Spend it how you want. Spend time with your family, your friends. Just do what's going to make you happy, and that's what life's all about. So now that we're done here in the Azalea Gym, there's still a couple things that I want to take care of. I mentioned to you guys that... The region is really, really spread out that there's not really a set pattern here. So one of the things I want to do is make sure that we can check off all the teleporting sites. And that's something that we kind of skipped over in Goldenrod City because Team Fusion was there. So I'm going to go ahead and just make my way back to Goldenrod City so that we can check off the teleportation sites. We'll be doing a little bit of this today. I want to make sure we take care of this because I'm not too sure where the heck Whitney went. So if you guys have any idea where Whitney was headed, where she was telling us about her gym, let me know. They've mixed things a lot around this place. So I'm going to have to explore a little bit and figure out where exactly our next step is. Now I know that Goldenrod City does have a gym. But we're not going to be taking on that gym today. We're going to continue exploring, see if we can find Whitney. Jasmine still owes us a badge. So we would have four badges right now, guys. But Jasmine is still holding on to hers. So we have to figure out where she went because she actually ran off with Pius last time. So she could possibly be back in Ecruteague City. We might have to explore there. And it looks like all the Team Fusion grunts are finally gone from here. So let me go ahead and check off this little teleportation site really quickly. We'll go ahead and register it. Then we're going to go ahead and make our way back to Ecruteague City. Because I actually need to check off all the other sites on the way here. We actually didn't check off Violet City. Cherry Grove, New Bark Town. So these are all places that we have to backtrack and check off. You know what? I think it's always fun getting to backtrack. And it's something that we have to do. It's better that we knock this out now than have to go ahead and run back there some other time. Because of something that a professor tells us or someone gives us a call and tells us to head back there. The deeper we get into this region, the tougher it's going to be to travel back. So here we are in Violet City. Let's go ahead and check this off, though. Where exactly? There it is. Okay, so these are mostly next to the Pokemon Center. So Violet City was registered. Let's keep on going, though. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way to Cherry Grove. Now, one of the things that I want to tell you guys is that once in a while, you have to fly back to the donut region to pick up certain items. So I have actually checked off Cherry Grove before because you just pretty much land there whenever you take the flight to Johto. So that one's not too difficult to get since you can just fly to tune it and then come right back. Not that difficult. Let's go ahead and actually get there though. I forgot how long some of these routes were and how many trainers we actually battled on the way here. So as I said, I've already registered Cherry Grove. So that one was actually pretty easy. And now we're going to go ahead and make our way to New Bark Town. And that will be our last check off for today. So let's go ahead and cut this tree. But guess what, guys? Today, we are going to be adding a new Pokemon to our team. So surprise, surprise, guys. I'm going to be running around this grass until we find our new Pokemon. So get ready. With that, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We have found a Knocked Owl, and it is a level 40 female Knocked Owl, and that is perfect. That is exactly the Pokemon I was looking for, so get excited. We are going to be adding a Knocked Owl to our team, and that furthers our pretty much whole Johto team, except for RSP. So with that, guys, I've actually picked up a couple Ultra Balls, too. So let's go ahead and catch this Knocked Owl. Let's hope for the best. Hopefully, it won't be too difficult to catch, as I think it will be a great addition to our team. And with that, guys, there we we have it. Knocked Owl was caught, and I am very excited to have this Pokemon. I always like using Johto Pokemon, so it's awesome to see that. Knocked Owl, the Owl Pokemon. It unfailingly catches prey in darkness. Knocked Owl, other success is superior vision. So let's go ahead and give this guy a nickname. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and nickname this after a character in Harry Potter. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, so I'm going to call it Hedwig. With that, guys, Hedwig has been added to our team, and I'm super excited about this Pokemon. Now, the cool thing about this is that Harry Potter's pet 
was also a female owl, so Hedwig really matches that name. That really worked out quite well. I think this Pokemon is going to be really fantastic, and I really wanted to get a flying type on our team as soon as I could, and I thought this was a really good time before we continue further on to the other gym. Since we've already took down four gyms, the gyms are flying by. We'll still have to decide who our sixth Pokemon is, so if you guys have any suggestions on that, make sure you guys leave them. I'm always reading your comments, and I really do appreciate them. You guys actually picked out the Knocked Owl, and I thought that would be really, really cool to have too here in Johto. So with that guys let's keep on moving it looks like we're gonna have a battle are you serious okay this poor little guy is probably gonna have such under leveled pokemon that we should be able to absolutely crush him let's see what he's gonna send out he's gonna send out arcanine we should be good to go zuko jr should be able to handle it now if you guys look at the hedwig how awesome does the knocked owl look that was one of those pokemon that when I first started hearing about Johto and watching the anime and seeing all the different Pokemon, it really stood out to me. I thought it was going to be some amazing legendary Pokemon. And I just expected it to be like that because it looks so cool. I think once in a while you have those Pokemon that are actually a little more common. But you see them and you're like, that thing looks awesome. And that was the type of Pokemon that Knocked Owl was for me. So I'm actually really excited to have Hedwig on the team. I will be training up Hedwig, so we should be good by next time. And Hedwig should be fully caught up. I'm sure she'll be ready to go and ready to take on any gyms that come at us. It's also nice that we have a Pokemon that can fly now, other than Daenerys, who's just chilling in our PC for now. They're just taking a little bit of a rest. With that, guys, we have registered new Bark Town, and now I'm actually gonna go ahead and make our way back to check on Jasmine, just to make sure she's not at her gym, because I'm actually not too sure where she is. So let's go ahead back to Olivine City. We're gonna go ahead and run into the gym again. Let's see if she's back at her gym, because if Jasmine is is it then we probably are gonna have to go back to a critique and explore there she's not here guys so with that we will continue from here in olivine city next time we're gonna go in search of jasmine and whitney make sure you guys leave me some tips and some comments make sure you guys give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye